Alright everybody, welcome back. We're on a roll here. We are on a roll. Um, so speaking of which, um, I actually, I got a lot, I got a lot done today in terms of, uh, my, uh, creative pursuits, for lack of a fancier term, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, I dolled up my Twitch channel a little bit, put a link to my music on there, uh, a link to my YouTube channel on there, like, like a nice looking link, like a link with a picture and shit. I'm shitty at web design. Um, I always was. Um, I, I mean, I know I'm, like, kind of in the IT industry, but I'm more of a hands-on hardware kind of guy than I am, in, than I am uh, you know, in-the-box kind of guy. So, um, you know, and, uh, so, yeah, I put, like, uh, I put links to those things on my Twitch that are, you know, nice little, nice little pretty banners. And, uh, wait. Wait, hang on a fucking second. How do I... No, 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 no. Shit. I gotta go all the way back. I'm sorry. God damn it. Oh well. It'll just give me more time to yap at you guys. Um, ooh, a behemoth. He needs to die very quickly, because he can, uh, he can fuck shit up if he is left to, left to do so. <laughs> um, I started a, I technically started a Patreon, but it's, uh, it's, it's like an embryo of a Patreon, and I still have no idea really how it works or what to do with it, but, um, I plan on learning. Um, I mean, if there's... You know, I definitely have confidence issues, but if there's one thing that I have confidence in with myself, it's my ability to teach myself shit. Um, almost everything that I know how to do that I'm proud of, I taught myself. Um, that's not to say that like other people haven't taught me things, and I actually very much enjoy learning from other people. I'm one of those people that uh, strongly believes that you know everybody has something to teach me. Um, but uh, I found that. It's not that other people, you know, don't have things to teach me uh, that are valuable, but, um, can I even get back up there? I don't think I can. I think I missed it. Uh, I'm going to find out. And if nothing else, I'll just gain a few levels along the way. So I'm sorry. We could have been, we could have been progressed way past here by now if I hadn't messed this up. So I am sorry, but you know. At least I'll gain some levels, maybe level up some materia. Um, the, uh, that's the nice thing about having a party full of physical attackers. You can just mash the attack button. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll get, like, the initial, like, elevator pitch of what I can learn from another person. But... I'll have a really hard time, I have, I have a hard time absorbing information from other people. Like when someone is trying to teach me something, and they're like talking at me and things, I get like a very, very spotty synop- I think, and I think that's, I think this is partially something that makes me feel like I may or may not have ADD, um, is uh, I just, I don't try to, it just happens, I tune them out. I don't, I don't mean to, and I don't try to, but like, you know, every, every few words or so, I'll get lost and my eyes will glaze over and I just won't hear them. Or I'll hear them, but I won't, I won't comprehend what they've said. And if you ask me to, you know, repeat what they've said verbatim, sometimes I can do it. And sometimes I'm like, what, what did you say? Um... So really, more than anything, I would say that what people do is they, they, in, um, I get inspired to go learn about shit from people. Because I'll, I'll, I'll talk to a friend that knows a lot about something or other, and, uh, you know, they'll talk at me about it for a little while, and I'll absorb little tidbits of information, and then I'll use that information as, uh, 
as a uh, motivator, as kind of like an appetizer for what other people know that I could know if I, you know, researched it myself. And then I go and research it and I'll learn about it. Um, it's really just a matter of motivation. I don't know how motivated I am to learn web design. <laughs> but anyway, back on topic. Um, so I did that, and uh, I also got this... Uh, I got this live stream program that'll let me uh, stream my desktop. And so I want to start streaming some of my music and music making process. Uh, you know, um, on, uh, on Twitch or on YouTube. I think what's gonna, what's gonna happen and what I'm gonna wind up doing is, uh, you know, I'll use Twitch for kind of, like, um, like, spur of the moment stuff. Like, when I sit down and I work on a song, I'll stream it on Twitch. Uh, but if there's ever something that I really want to just show people how to do and teach them, I'll put that on YouTube. Um, I feel like that's a nice division of labor. Now, I recently found out that my fucking Elgato capture software doesn't like Twitch. And I googled it and I read about the error. There's like a there's like a very common error that people get and it's like, oh, clear your clear your cache and cookies and whatnot from your browser and restart the capture, restart the browser, restart your computer, and like I'm gonna did all that and it's still showing up and it's you know, I don't feel like looking into it anymore. I was going to try and stream this on Twitch. Uh was that HP Plus? I think that was. I was gonna try and stream my Final Fantasy VII on Twitch, but uh Alas, that's not going to happen for the reasons that I just mentioned. Um, I stopped and looked to the side for a moment, um, and uh, I looked it up real quick. Those chests have a Mega Elixir and an Elixir in there, so while that's a bummer that I'm not going to get those things, it's not the end of the world, and I will survive. <laughs> um, let's see, I need to, I need to save. Um fuck was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make like some, like, I don't know, kind of guerrilla style uh, how-to videos and stuff uh, for my YouTube channel and then I'll just, next time I sit down and work on a song, I'll probably try streaming it on Twitch, see what happens. Um, tell you one thing though, I gotta, up I gotta upgrade my, uh, I gotta upgrade my hard drive soon. Uh, among a few other things because all the shit that I'm starting to do with music and video editing and everything it is starting to get crazy taxing on my computer and uh, I certainly don't have the money to build a high-end PC I'm probably one of the only people that's like trying to get into this that is using I'm gonna, I'm gonna get made fun of so hard for this probably one of the only people that's using a Mac laptop <laughs> A really powerful one, but nonetheless, a Mac laptop. I, uh, the main reason, the primary reason why I'm not motivated to build a, uh, a rig for this is because I don't play PC games. Um, it's never ever been something that I've been into. I've always been a console gamer. And so, you know, you know, I got it. I got into Max because of all the the artsy fartsy shit I was doing, and um, and I was curious about them, and uh, I was, you know, God damn it! I swear to fucking God. Oh, these things. These things are the Antichrist. The fucking the two little guys up in front. The reason why they're the Antichrist, collectively, is because their animations, like when they attack, their attack animation takes like two years. Like watch this next time they attack. Oh thank god I killed it. Never mind. Um Yeah, so I've got I got some stuff to learn and I've got some stuff that I wanna start doing and uh I think it'll really help flesh my uh, YouTube channel and my Twitch channel out. I hope. You know. Yeah. 
But, um... Anyway, so that's cool. Does anybody here like Speedcore? When I was at work today, I, um... Which, by the way, work is going a little bit better. I finally kind of got over myself and it's it's not quite so bad now it's 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 boring as fuck uh it's not exactly challenging work at all um but it uh it's like an it's like an assembly line of just uh tech deployment shit and you know it's i don't know i think it'll get better because we'll start doing some break fix stuff but um uh, Eventually, but I don't know when that's happening. Uh, can we? Okay. I don't know why it's lagging when I try and go to the lower screens. Um, but until then, anyway. I was really bored at work, and so I started listening to mixes on YouTube. And I found a Speedcore mix. Uh, Speedcore, for those of you who don't know, is basically hardcore techno. Um, that is very, very fast. And, uh... It's um, a common technique of speedcore artists is uh, what's it's very loud, it's very distorted, it's very in your face. Some of it's very violent sounding, like some of it's really angry, and some of it's like you know just happy and goofy and and ex excitable. It's not like happy hardcore at all. Um, it's not. It, it can get cheesy, but it didn't ever get nearly that cheesy, and it's even faster than that. Um, it's like it's like blast beats. It's like uh, you know, it's like it's like the death metal of techno, pretty much. Like a really common technique that they use is they'll 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 use varying speeds of blast beats rhythmically in a progression to create the illusion of a of a rhythm or a beat just from like this wall of kick drums. Um if anyone doesn't know what a blast beat is, it's basically, um, uh, if you've ever heard a kick kick drum in uh, a song, like usually, usually it's in metal. It comes from metal for the most part. Um, you know, like the double bass pedal you hear in metal sometimes. Uh, if you're not even into metal, then uh, a blast beat is basically just <laughs> with the with the bass drum and. Uh, They'll use varying speeds of blast beats, and sometimes because it's techno and it's electronic, they can make them as fast as they goddamn want. They're not limited by the human foot. So, uh, see, look at this. Did you see how long that fucking took? It was just sitting there. Anyway, um, look, look, look at it again. Like I'm, I'm this, the ATB gauge. Look at it. It's fucking frozen. And I don't. I don't have this shit on, I'm almost positive I do not have this shit on weight. But it still stops for their attacks, which is annoying as balls. Dude! Hurry the fuck up! Please kill these quickly. My god. Cloud, kill him. Thank you. Anyway, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so if you play, if you play any percussive sound, like, you know, like any, any drum beat, if you play any, like, percussive, like, up, like, sound like that fast enough in succession, um, the individual, like, beats become almost, become almost like cycles, and then when it gets even faster, they become tonal. They have like a melodic tone that you can, like a hmm, like you can hum it. Like, uh, it'll go like, you know? And so, like, that's a really common technique in speedcore is to, you have these drums that are going so fast, and sometimes they'll slow down enough to where you can actually discern the beat, but sometimes they'll, they'll randomly speed up rhythmically. And become like become tones, and, like the drums will actually become a melody. It's nuts. It's really psychedelic, actually. It's a technique they use in Psytrance a lot too, but they use it in a much more uh, controlled fashion, I guess. Um,
One thing they do a lot in a, in a lot of more like crazy versions, uh, forms of Psytrance, like Darker, like like Dark Psy and Psycore and stuff like that, is they'll, uh, they'll, come on, load the next screen. Jesus. Sorry about this. There's items down here. This is why we're going down here. Here, here's one. Power source. Okay. That's not what we came for, but... It's something. Um... God, please no more. Please no more. These... Okay, I need to go to those corners in order to get to the... Gimme, gimme, gimme. God damn it! Anyway, um... What they'll do is they'll have, like, a blast beat, and they'll... They'll, they'll kind of cut off the high end, they'll run it through a low pass, which basically all that does is it turns the treble down, so it doesn't sound, uh, so it sounds lower and more bassy. And we'll use that as like a bass line, and then they'll keep like a regular kick with all of its treble intact over it. Uh, in speedcore, they don't care, it's just like kicks. Here, have kick drums. Have just a hurricane of kicks. Um, am I, am I getting too music nerdy on you guys? I don't want to like I don't know. I don't want to come off like I'm trying to be like a know-it-all about underground music that nobody cares about. <laughs> anyway, the point is, I was bored at work and I let I listened to a fucking mix of speedcore. It was like a half-hour speedcore mix. Speedcore is a lot like punk. Like the songs are really fast and over with quickly. Like they're, you know, some of them are under two minutes long. You know. And, uh, where, I can smell out the cans out this way. Yeah, I know, but I want my fucking treasure. Give me the fucking treasure. All right. And, uh, there's a there's a new there's a new speedcore artist that I discovered, and uh, this particular artist is one of the kind of a little bit more lighthearted, I guess. Um, not quite as angry as some speedcore can be, um, but uh, uh, the name of his project is uh, the Quick Brown Fox, um, and uh, which is incredibly clever. I love that. <laughs> Remember the, the quick brown fox jumps over the the, the lazy dog? It's like the, uh, the, the they used to have you type that in order to learn how to how to type because it's a it's a what's the word? A, I think it's called a pangram. It's a sentence that has every letter of the alphabet in it. Um. Yeah, and he did a speedcore remix of that stupid pop song that's like, that just says like, like a G6 over and over. I don't know what the fuck that song is or who does it. And it's called like a G666. <laughs> and it's just like, just wall to wall kick drums. And then there's this crazy breakdown where he like warps the chick's voice and like stutters it and does this like stuttery blast beat breakdown thing. And it's just, it's disgustingly catchy and that's the thing that speed chorus do a lot is um they'll mash up uh pop songs and just absolutely ruin them <laughs> and uh like break horror artists will do this too and i know i've mentioned break horror in an episode of something um but it's it's hilarious go check out the guy's music like he doesn't know me and i don't know him but i mean i'm sure he would be appreciative if uh I gave him a shout out for my now 13 subscribers. I have 13 because I convinced my old raid leader to come and subscribe to my channel. God, this is miserable. I keep telling myself and all my friends keep telling me like, dude, it's a logarithmic rise. Like it's going to be, it's going to get better. Um, but you know, for now I'm just, I'm enjoying myself and I'm excited just to kind of build up a portfolio of shit. Um, I've already got like the next like six, seven, eight let's plays planned out, like what I'm gonna do. So, you know, that'll be nice. Barrett, are you gonna get another limit break? Or are you gonna just continue being a 
Dumbass. What the fuck is happening here? Jesus! God, how does Sid already- how, how has Sid already caught up to you? W item, okay. Um, W item is actually not that useful for me in this particular playthrough because A, I don't- I have limited items with which to use W item, and, uh, because this is a challenge playthrough, I'm not gonna be using the W item glitch. Which, uh, for those of you who don't know, if you use w, w item, let's use two items at the same time. Um, in one turn. So, what you can use W item for is to duplicate items through a glitch where basically you select the first item and, like, target something with it and then go to select the second item and then cancel out all, all of it. Or something like that. It, I may have a minor detail of that wrong, but that's the gist of it. And what it does is it duplicates the item that you selected first. And you just keep confirming, cancel, confirm, cancel, confirm, cancel, confirm, cancel, and you just get a million items. And if you do that on Mega Elixirs, you basically can just... Like, oh, somebody got hit by something and then cast a spell? Mega Elixir for everybody! Like, you know... I already saved, didn't I? I'm gonna save again. I don't care. Um... And, uh... Yeah, so that's obviously not compatible with the spirit of this being a challenge playthrough, so I'm not going to be fucking doing that. But, uh... So actually, I don't really even know why I bothered to come get this. Oh well. I got some sources. Let's use those. Um... Yeah, alright. Yeah, I already did that. Okay, sorry. I was about to say, I was about to go save again. Alright, um well it's about that time, so I'm gonna cut the episode and when we come back, uh things are gonna happen. I, I think I'm I'm actually I'm gonna go get back to where we started. Um uh, so you don't have to watch me fight a million random encounters on the way back there. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we left off before we took this little detour. So anyway, take care, everybody.